자체적으로 비비고 다닙니다. 영국 비비고, 미국 비비고, 와우. 중국 비비고, 한국도 비비고. 세계가 가는 코리아 푸드. 이제 한국에서 만나요. 비비고. Hi everyone, nice to meet you. We are Team 11 and we are gonna share our team's analysis about CJ 제일제당. So first part is marketing, and I will talk about the characteristics of potential customers for BBGO. First, consumers who are difficult to cook can be potential consumers of BBGO. Recently, with the advent of air fryer, it is possible to easily cook foods that are difficult to cook at home. With this trend, various products appeared, and BBGO also launched various products such as dumplings and kimchi cheese rice balls, which can be cooked using air fryers. So the consumer groups that use air fryers, such as busy modern families with children, single person households, can be characteristics of potential customer of BBGO. In addition, due to the COVID-19, online delivery and early morning delivery have grown significantly. and the online food market is still expected to continue to grow. Depending on the situation, CJ is focusing on online trainers, so consumers who frequently use the online food market will also be potential consumers of BBGO. The MG generation is the largest target covering all, all the above characteristics. Thus, BBGO is implementing a marketing strategy that considers MG generations. For example, Bibigo made three entertainment video and uploaded it on YouTube channel. The content received pos positive consumer responses from MZ, MZ generation seeking fun, and at the same time, it also led to actual product purchases. Lastly, our team suggests within and across product line extension strategies to Bibigo. As interest and demand for health have increased due to the COVID-19, Healthcare has become a trend not only for the existing middle aged, but also for 20s and 30s. Uh, the nutritional content of current BB g o d u m p l i n g s does not help with healthcare. Therefore, it is proposed to release dumplings that take care of health, such as chicken breast dumplings and tofu dumplings, and are easy to manage the diet. We also suggest to release the various flavors of dumpling sauce. It is easy to watch people eating dumplings with sauce. Uh, Bibigo can introduce various flavors of such sauce, such as Mara, Rose, Hot Chicken, and Red Pepper Paste, which is really popular among the people these days. It will be well appealed to MZ generation, also has no, who has no resistance to various combinations of food. are going to take up a finance part. First, we calculated beta with the data of 5 y e a r stock price and cost p e index. The rate of return is set as 5 trading days and total beta regression data is 5 years. The week following data and beta has been calculated as 0.1293, so the cost of equity is 4.11% as CAPM formula. The debt should be separated from non-interest liabilities such as account payable, and country liability. Then we could obtain 9.7 million debt as market value. Also, we can easily figure out the value of equity from finance side as 5.9 million. The cost of debt has been calculated under the scenario we set, which is competition of five years historical data and five years maturity. Then the result was YTM of 2.93%. For optimal equity structure, we set the assumption that better help debt would increase as the company raised their debt ratio. Also, reliable better help equity also increased as Hamada model. As the table shows, we could figure best debt ratio as 150%. So the financing of new investments should be executed as new T account says the 285 billion on debt as 715 on equity. Finally, we projected future cash flow to form under the assumption we set for new investment. We obtained, obtained tons of market information for HMR, for gross rate, market size, and market share. In conclusion, we set the gross rate of 5% as conservative value. Most of the reports indicated that company gross rates more than 
so we decided 5% for proper valuation. In addition, Coaster evaluated from historical data. It was based on the ratio from the sales and share of food business from whole company. The cost of goods sold was averaged to 79%, and sales and administrative costs was 16% in recent five years. The net working capital was set 2% consistently from new year and next year sales expectation. And there's no additional capital expenditure more than first 1,000 billion. After all, we obtained positive MPV calculation as 15 billion for new investment. So we decide to our outcome to be well valued. Then we talk about the issues facing food manufacturing in terms of quality control and how CJ should address these situations. First of all, the issues in the food manufacturing industry include the increased consumer awareness of food safety due to COVID-19 the problem of plastic waste caused by using many packaging materials and the environmental pollution that occurs in the food production process. So, to increase confidence in the safety of food, CJ developed taste and reach a product made by fermentation from natural ingredients with no artificial additives. And CJ needs to deploy advanced technologies to enhance food traceability. For the environment, CJ is also reducing the amount of plastic consumed through eco-friendly packaging, and in addition, it needs to develop biodegradable plastic PHA and continue to research and invest in these technologies. And CJ should enter the alternative meat market free from methane gas, excrement, and feed efficiency generated by livestock breeding. Thank you, Jihoo. Now we will be analyzing CJ Chae strategic position. First, let's look at the five forces model of the food industry and analyze its profit potential. Based on this chart, we can see that the threat of new entrants is actually moderate to low. This is due to the existing high capital requirements and economies of scale, which acts as the entry barriers. Next, we are looking at the bargaining power of suppliers, which is pretty low. This is because the raw materials that are supplied into the food industry are actually known as commodities. Hence, when the firms in food industry wants to switch suppliers, they are actually incurring really low switching costs. Third, we're looking at the threat of substitute products. This is actually really, really low because for food, it is a basic necessity. Hence, there are actually no proper substitute for food unless we consider meal replacement beverages. Hence, based on the chart, we can um, deduce that the whole profit potential of food industry is actually moderate to high. Next, let's look at the BCG growth share metrics. For the food domain, we can see that the processed food and foodstuff in the local market and the overseas food as well to be in the cash cow position. This suggests that CJ Chae should actually hold its investment in these domains. While in the bio, we should actually look really highly on red bio since its market growth rate is actually really high despite the low relative market share. This is because CJ Chae actually has not started selling any of its products in the market. Hence, CJ Chae should actually invest more on this market. We should also look at White Bio, which is in the star position. This is because White Bio actually has a relative market share, which is high, as well as a high market growth rate. Hence, CJ Chae should actually invest more in this domain as well. Thank you, Ashley. From now on, I will talk about how CJ Zhejiang's one of main brand Spam reacts to inflation and then suggests a new strategy. Spam maintains a competitive advantage through differentiation. There are many reasons why Spam can maintain differentiation. First, Spam was introduced to Korea through the US military during the Korean War. And Koreans who admired American products at that time had difficulty and had difficulty eating meat recognized Spam as a high quality food. The luxurious and friendly image of spam formed thanks to this inflow method 
is the fundamental reason why it can maintain differentiation so far. Second, the advertisement copy a piece of spam on hot rice, which became the identity of spam in 2002, gave the image that spam was the best side dish for rice, the staple food of Korean. For these reasons, spam can maintain differentiation and its consumer's maximum willingness to pay is higher than competitors. The fact that CJ Jail Jedang is the undisputed number one in the food industry in the brand reputation index reflects spam's differentiation. Since WTP is high, spam can maintain its profit by raising prices even during inflation. In fact, the price of spam has never been lower than Richem, its biggest competitor. The spam's current price is 3,501, and that of Richem is 2,331, based on online shopping malls. Despite always setting the price higher than Richem, spam sales as of 2020 or 450 billion won, and that of Richem is 180 billion won. However, spam's differentiation strategy is currently largely dependent on the brand image, as I mentioned just before. We therefore suggest a new strategy to maintain its competitive advantage. An example of benchmarking is Paul Bassett of Mail Diary. Since Mail Diary opened its first Paul Bassett store, sales have grown rapidly due to lattes and ice cream that actively use dairy products from Mail Diary. It has secured a new distribution channel for its dairy products and created a new profit generating structure using Paul Bassett. Likewise, CJ Jail Jadang seems to be able to do a food service business using Spam. Spam is currently distributed mostly through large, large discount stores and online shopping malls. Through the food service business using Spam, it will be able to create a new distribution channel to distribute Spam and create a new profit generating structure even in the inflation situation. So that's it for our presentation and thank you for watching. We are Team 11.